First of all, uh, your name and who you are. Okay. I'm Kirsty Fleetwood and I'm the Community Development Manager for Virgin Care. We provide NHS services across the country. So in terms of young carers, what does that mean? So young carers to us, we know, are the next generation of people that are providing lots of care, saving services like ourselves, the NHS, £119 billion pounds a year. Um, and I know there's some new figures actually around that which are off the scale way more. Um, young carers actually provide a service that we as an NHS provider um, you know, aren't providing and therefore are picking up a lot of the work, I guess, um, that's happening. We've realised as an organisation that supporting those people now is really important because if we don't support those people, we essentially end up caring for the cared for person and the carer. Um, so we have two people using our services rather than one. Um, so we've set up lots of initiatives and different things to help support young carers um, across the country uh, within the services that we provide or the communities around those services or for our, our um, employees at Virgin Care. Some will perhaps say, I'll start the question again, the young carer whose story we're featuring in the programme makes a point in relation to MPs that they're paid and therefore they shouldn't just be there for the money, they should care. And the Minister's responded to that. As a private company, they might say the same thing as you, that you're more interested in the name than actually helping. Yeah, and, and do you know, it's funny because we get asked the question a lot as why, why do we care? Um, and actually, I think I briefly just mentioned on that that... Um, it's A, the right thing to do. Um, the people that work for our organisation are, you know, care providers, that, that their services, they're in this um, profession because of the way they are as an individual. Um, and at many levels throughout the organisation, actually, we have a lot of people who are carers themselves. And um, when we first started developing one of our larger initiatives, which is a website called Carers Club, um, we started off as a, an internal piece for the, the employees at Virgin Care and as a tool for their managers to support them through their caring roles. Actually, the feedback that we got from that and how positive that grew was that why don't we open that up to the wider community and, and support people out there that, that need that same thing. So for us, it's more about looking at what, what's out there that already exists that's really positive and really supporting what carers need, young and old, and any type of carer. And then taking that in and regurgitating it and pushing it back out without reinventing the wheel as a place to go to make sure there's, it's jargon free, it's easy to navigate, it's colourful, really important. Um, digestible so on all the pages of our website carersclub.org um, it starts off with an in a nutshell box so that carers can see am I on the right page you don't have time to scroll through pages and pages and pages of information but actually if I'm looking for something to support me I want to know that it's there and within two clicks and in an easy accessible place um, we also have actually, can you pause a moment? sorry to interrupt The odd one's okay, but a sudden burst of forgiveness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, carry on. Sorry, I don't know what I, um, don't know where you were. That's okay. So we also have on the website an area called Deals and Discounts, um, which actually allows us to tap into the bigger organisations of the Virgin Group, for example, like Virgin Experience Days, and offer discounts to carers to actually take some time out for them. We understood actually that there was quite, um, there could have been a, ne a negative connotation with that, that I don't have time to take time out for me. And we understand that, but what we're also doing is working with some organisations that provide domiciliary care um, in home care so that people can actually take some time out for themselves because their health is just as important as the person that's being there. One second. I'm just wait a second. I've just got one more question for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, C, C if you, are you looking for C? Yeah, the it's, up, it's, it's upstairs, I think. Okay. A and B are the ones down here. Try and curtail the conversation. No. I'm sorry, but it's, it's just in edit, it'll be a nightmare. So would, would you mind either quiet or... Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. General noise is fine, but sporadic noise is difficult. OK, thank you. Thanks a lot. OK. One thing that's said uh, by young carers 
repeatedly to us is that the professionals really don't understand what it's like and that it's difficult to talk to adults and therefore, well, as the Care Act and Children's and Families Act say, the emphasis is on the adults to find the young carers. How much do you feel of that in your everyday experience? Yeah, I mean, I can understand that being a point of topic, actually. Um, I had experience as a young carer myself, and actually I have a long-term health condition. So um, my mum was a carer to me as I was growing up, and actually I have a daughter now. So, you know, that's something that's impacted on my life. You know, as an individual, and it just so happens that this has become part of my professional life. Um, in terms of how we support that, I think, as an output, as an organisation, we make sure that we're always listening to carers, and, and so we have panels of carers that work with the organisation to develop how we move forward. Um, and we've also just employed a carer um, who's chosen ours and chosen where she works to fit around her and her current existing lifestyle um, to create content for the website Carers Club um, to make sure that actually we're talking from a real carer perspective and um, the issues that really are from carers, not from what as we as a health organisation think of the, um, are the issues. So I think we're addressing it. I think there's a long way to go for many organisations, but hopefully... If we all beat the drum very quietly, they'll be allowed bang in the end. Thank you very much.